Hello and welcome to Randomly Screen TV, the channel where we explore the fascinating world of cinema and its creators. Today we're going to talk about one of the most influential and visionary filmmakers of our time, Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan is a British-American director, producer, and writer who is known for his complex and original stories, his innovative use of cinematic techniques, and his ability to create immersive and thrilling experiences for the audience. He has directed some of the most acclaimed and successful films of the 21st century, such as Memento, The Dark Knight Trilogy, Inception, Interstellar, Dunkirk, and Oppenheimer. But how did he become such a master of his craft? What are the influences and inspirations behind his work? And what are the themes and messages that he explores in his films? In this video, we're going to take a look at his career, from his humble beginnings as an independent filmmaker to his latest epic biopic about the father of the atomic bomb. Nolan was born on July 30, 1970 in London, England. His father was a British advertising executive and his mother was an American flight attendant. He developed an interest in filmmaking from a young age, using his father's Super 8 camera to make short films with his friends. He was influenced by George Lucas's Star Wars trilogy and by the immersive dystopian films of Ridley Scott. He studied English literature at University College London, where he joined the Film Society and made several 16mm films. His first feature film was following in 1998, a neo-noir crime thriller that he made on a shoestring budget of $6,000. The film follows a writer who becomes obsessed with following strangers around London, until he gets involved in a criminal scheme. The film was shot in black and white, with a non-linear narrative structure that would become one of Nolan's trademarks following was well received by critics and festivals, and gained Nolan enough recognition that he was able to secure financing for his next film, Memento in 2000. This film was based on a short story by his brother Jonathan, and starred Guy Pearce as a man suffering from anterograde amnesia, short-term memory loss, who is trying to find his wife's killer. The film uses a reverse-order storyline that mirrors the protagonist's condition, as well as alternating scenes in color in black and white. The film was a critical and commercial success, earning Nolan an Academy Award nomination for Best Original Screenplay. Nolan's next film was Insomnia in 2002, a remake of a Norwegian thriller starring Al Pacino, Robin Williams, and Hilary Swank. The film is set in Alaska, where a veteran detective, Pacino, is sent to investigate the murder of a teenage girl. However, he accidentally shoots his partner and tries to cover it up while being blackmailed by the killer, Williams, who witnessed the incident. The film explores themes of guilt, morality, and deception, as well as the effects of sleep deprivation on the detective's mental state. Insomnia was Nolan's first film for Warner Brothers, and marked his transition from independent to studio filmmaking. It was also his first collaboration with cinematographer Wally Pfister, who would work with him on all of his subsequent films until Interstellar. The film was well received by critics and audiences alike. In 2005, Nolan was chosen by Warner Brothers to reboot the Batman franchise, which had been dormant since the failure of Batman and Robin, 1997. Nolan wanted to bring a more realistic and grounded approach to the superhero genre, focusing on the origins and psychology of Bruce Wayne, Christian Bale, and his transformation into Batman. He also wanted to create a more coherent and consistent vision for Gotham City, using practical locations and effects instead of relying on CGI. He co-wrote the screenplay with David S. Goyer, who had previously written Blade in 1998 and its sequels. The result was Batman Begins in 2005, which introduced audiences to a darker and more serious version of Batman than they had seen before. The film featured an impressive cast. The film was a huge success, both critically and commercially, and revived the Batman franchise for a new generation. It also established Nolan as one of the most sought-after directors in Hollywood. Before making a sequel to Batman Begins, Nolan directed another original film The Prestige in 2006. This film was based on a novel by Christopher Priest, and starred Christian Bale and Hugh Jackman as rival 19th century stage magicians who engage in a deadly competition to create the ultimate illusion. The Prestige was another critical and commercial success for Nolan, and was praised for its intricate plot, clever twists, and thematic depth. The film explored the nature of obsession, sacrifice, and deception, 
as well as the parallels between magic and filmmaking. Nolan's next film was the highly anticipated sequel to Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, 2008. This film continued the story of Bruce Wayne as a Batman as he faced his greatest enemy, the Joker, Heath Ledger, a psychotic anarchist who wanted to plunge Gotham into chaos. The film also introduced Harvey Dent, Aaron Eckhart, a district attorney who became Batman's ally and later his enemy as Two-Face. The Dark Knight was a massive success, breaking box office records and becoming one of the highest grossing films of all time. It also received widespread acclaim from critics and audiences alike, who praised its dark tone, complex themes, thrilling action, and Ledger's performance as the Joker. Ledger died before the film's release, and posthumously won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role. The film also received seven other Oscar nominations, including Best Cinematography, Best Sound Editing, Best Sound Mixing, Best Visual Effects, Best Film Editing, Best Makeup, and Best Art Direction. In 2010, Nolan released his most ambitious and original film to date, Inception, 2010. This film starred Leonardo DiCaprio as Dom Cobb, a thief who specialized in extracting information from people's subconscious by entering their dreams. He was hired by a businessman, Ken Watanabe, to perform the opposite task, Inception, or planting an idea in someone's mind. To do so, he assembled a team of experts, Arthur, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, his partner and point man, Ariadne, Ellen Page, an architect who designed the dreamscapes, Eames, Tom Hardy, a forger who impersonated other people in the dreams, Yusuf, Dilip Rao, a chemist who provided the sedatives, and Saito, Watanabe, their employer and observer. However, Cobb had to deal with his own personal demons, his guilt over the death of his wife Mal, Marion Cotillard, who haunted his dreams and threatened to sabotage his mission. Inception was a mind-blowing experience that combined stunning visuals, thrilling action, complex concepts, and emotional drama. The film was praised for its originality, creativity, intelligence, and craftsmanship. The film was nominated for eight Academy Awards, and it won four of them, Best Cinematography, Best Sound Editing, Best Sound Mixing, and Best Visual Effects. Inception also had a lasting impact on popular culture, inspiring countless memes, parodies, references, and discussions about its ambiguous ending. The film left the audience wondering whether Cobb's final scene was a dream or reality, as the camera cut to black before showing if his spinning top totem stopped or not. Nolan has never revealed the answer to this question, leaving it up to the interpretation of each viewer. In 2012, Nolan completed his Batman trilogy with The Dark Knight Rises. This film was set eight years after the events of The Dark Knight, and showed a retired and broken Bruce Wayne as Batman who had to face a new threat, Bane, Tom Hardy, a masked terrorist who wanted to destroy Gotham with a nuclear bomb. The Dark Knight Rises was another huge success for Nolan, becoming one of the highest grossing films of all time. It also received positive reviews from critics and audiences alike, who praised its epic scale, emotional resonance, and satisfying conclusion to the trilogy. The film explored themes of redemption, sacrifice, legacy, and hope, as well as the consequences of Batman's actions in The Dark Knight. The film also faced some controversy and tragedy. Some critics and fans accused the film of having plot holes, logical inconsistencies, and political bias. Some also complained about Bane's muffled voice and Batman's lack of screen time. The film also sparked a mass shooting at a theater in Aurora, Colorado on July 20, 2012, where a gunman killed 12 people and injured 70 others during a midnight screening of the film. Nolan expressed his sorrow and sympathy for the victims and their families in a statement. Nolan returned to directing with Interstellar, 2014, a sci-fi epic that he co-wrote with his brother Jonathan. The film starred Matthew McConaughey as Joseph Cooper, a former NASA pilot who joined a mission to find a new home for humanity in another galaxy, after Earth became uninhabitable due to climate change and crop failures. Interstellar was a visually stunning and emotionally powerful film that explored themes of love, time, space, gravity, and destiny. The film used practical effects, miniatures, and real locations to create realistic and immersive environments. 
The film also featured a complex and scientific plot that involved wormholes, black holes, relativity, and quantum physics. The film was inspired by the works of physicist Kip Thorne, who served as an executive producer and a scientific consultant for the film. Interstellar was a critical and commercial success, earning praise for its ambition, scope, visuals, performances, and music. The film was nominated for five Academy Awards, it won one of them, the best visual effects. Interstellar also had a cultural impact, inspiring interest in space exploration, science education, and environmental awareness. The film also spawned several books, documentaries, video games, and merchandise. In 2017, Nolan directed Dunkirk, a war film that depicted the evacuation of Allied soldiers from the beaches of Dunkirk, France during World War II. The film starred Fian Whitehead as Tommy, a young British soldier who tried to survive and escape from the enemy. Dunkirk was a tense and immersive film that used minimal dialogue, non-linear narrative, and realistic sound and cinematography to create a sense of urgency, danger, and heroism. The film was praised for its technical excellence, historical accuracy, and emotional impact. The film was nominated for eight Academy Awards, and it won three of them, Best Sound Editing, Best Sound Mixing, and Best Film Editing. Dunkirk also had a cultural impact, raising awareness and appreciation for the historical event and its significance. The film also boosted the popularity and careers of its cast members, especially Harry Styles, who made his acting debut in the film. In 2020, Nolan released Tenet. This film starred John David Washington as the protagonist, a CIA agent who joined a secret organization called Tenet, which used a technology called inversion to manipulate time and prevent a global catastrophe. Tenet was a mind-bending and action-packed film that challenged the audience to follow its complex and intricate plot, which involved time travel, paradoxes, and espionage. The film was praised for its originality, spectacle, performances, and music. The film also used practical effects, real stunts, and exotic locations to create stunning and realistic scenes. The film was inspired by the works of James Bond, Stanley Kubrick, and Alfred Hitchcock. Tenet was a commercial success, despite being released during the COVID-19 pandemic, which affected its box office performance and distribution. It also received mixed reviews from critics and audiences alike, who admired its ambition and technical achievements, but criticized its confusing and convoluted story, lack of emotional depth, and poor sound mixing. Tenet also had a cultural impact, sparking debates and discussions about its meaning and interpretation. The film also generated interest in physics, cryptography, and art. In 2023, Nolan released his latest film, Oppenheimer. This film starred Killian Murphy as J. Robert Oppenheimer, the American physicist who led the Manhattan Project, which developed the first atomic bombs during World War II. Oppenheimer was a biographical and historical film that chronicled the life and work of Oppenheimer, from his early years as a brilliant and rebellious student, to his involvement in the Manhattan Project, to his later years as a victim of McCarthyism and a campaigner for nuclear disarmament. The film also depicted the ethical, moral, and political dilemmas that Oppenheimer and his colleagues faced, as well as the personal and professional conflicts that they endured. The film explored themes of science, war, power, loyalty, love, and humanity. Oppenheimer was a critical and commercial success, earning rave reviews for its accuracy, depth, drama, and performances. The film was nominated for 12 Academy Awards. Oppenheimer also had a cultural impact, raising awareness and appreciation for the historical figure and his legacy. The film also sparked interest in physics, history, and politics. So we reach the end as that concludes our video about Christopher Nolan, one of the most influential and visionary filmmakers of our time. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about his career, his films, and his themes. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new content. Thank you for watching Randomly Screen TV, see you next time.